What's up, Glassy gang? My name is Glassy, and before we get into the video, I need you to go ahead and drop a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know, do you like AMD or do you like Intel? Today, we're going to be talking about AMD's new 7000 series processors and the little sneak peek that they gave us recently at CES. Personally for me, I'm an AMD guy. I get a 5900X in my um, rig right now. But recently at CES, AMD went ahead and announced that they're going to have a 5 nanometer Ryzen 7000 series processor codenamed Raphael. It's going to be a Zen 4 CPU in which they also unveiled the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which has 96 megabytes of L3 cache. So basically what they're trying to do is what they've always done. AMD versus Intel back at it again, smacking it out in the ring. Right now, AMD's trying to pack out Alder Lake, which Alder Lake is the newest Intel CPU to come out that is supposed to be the best for gaming right now, which honestly, I don't know how much of a difference it makes for the average gamer because you can do pretty well on just a 5800X, 57, whatever. I mean, hell, I got the 5900X so I can do editing, rendering, gaming, all of the above. I kind of went overkill just because. Yeah, my, my wife wasn't really happy about how much I paid for it, though. So AMD has kind of teased about the new 5 nanometer CPUs that are going to be the Zen 4. And not only that, they're dubbing it the Ryzen 7000 series. It's going to be a completely new design. So you know how the current CPUs just have that regular square look that's raised. They kind of look like the Intel CPUs, the newer ones, but better. But if you look, they've got these little cutouts. And honestly, it's, it's kind of cool, but I'm wondering how much of the IHS is actually going to dissipate heat. Now, the good thing is that you can currently use your AM4 coolers for the AM5 CPUs, so you should be fine there. You won't have to change out any new hardware or anything like that. Right now, AMD is firing back at Intel with their Ryzen 7 5800X3D processors. So apparently this new Ryzen 7 5800X3D processor is apparently gonna be the first gaming CPU with 3D stacking tech. It's still gonna have the eight core 16 threads. You're gonna get a 4.5 gigahertz boost with a 3.4 gigahertz base. Uh, 64 megabytes of AMD 3DV cache with 32 megabytes of 2D cache. And apparently it's gonna have the exact same uh, TDP as my 5900X with 105 watts and they'll be coming out with this CPU relatively soon, actually. They're not exactly sure if AMD is going to bring this new 3D cache systems to the 5900 and 5950X. It would almost defeat the purpose to do that if they were going to go for the new Ryzen 7000 series anyway. As of right now, that 5800X 3D is only going to still support uh, DDR4 memory, which, like I said, for the average consumer, having DDR4 to DDR5 isn't going to make that much of a difference. I mean, if you're doing basic, simple gaming, playing GTA, Red Dead, or Call of Duty or anything like that, it won't really matter. Again, to the average person. According to this right here, it's gonna be about 15% faster gaming at 1080p high than my 5900X. And as you can see, most of it is 1.4, 1.2, 1.2, 1.1 across the board. Uh, and honestly, I don't even play any of those games. But to have a Ryzen 7 outperform a 5900X for Ryzen 9, it's pretty good. It's me only feel a little bit worse for the amount that I paid for this processor. And not only that, whenever it comes to the 12900K from Intel, it's actually right, like right on par with it. So AMD is already firing back. Intel's like, you know, we got this brand new processor that just came out and we're doing great with it. We're better than you, AMD. And AMD's like, nah, fam, we're just, <laughs> we're just warming up. But not only that, AMD is getting rid of their PGA sockets and going back to an LGA, which if you don't know what LGA is, it's land grid array. And it is the exact same thing that Intel is using that has the flat bottom on the CPUs instead of the pins that you could drop and bend and mess all of that up. So right now we're current rocking the Zen 3, which is the seven nanometer processors. And now we're going to be going to five nanometer processors with Zen 4. Overall, I, I bet you in the next 10 years, we'll be like bringing out Zen 19, 0.01 nanometer process fastest CPU in the world. It just seems like every time, and this is true that goes around when it comes to tech, is that every time something new comes out, you grab it, you've got the best, latest, and greatest technology, tomorrow something new comes out. So I'm going to rock my 5900X all the way until it dies. I won't even build a reg for the next five, eight years. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you an AMD person or are you an Intel person? And if so, what processors do you have and which one do you like? Which ones do you think is the best? And do you think that AMD is going to continue to outperform Intel from here on out? But like I said, anyway, guys, leave a thumbs up. Watch the video all the way through. Leave a comment down below what you think. And I will see you in the next one. So AMD has teased of the new coming 5 nanomill... So AMD is kind of teased around for the new and upcoming 
So AMD is kind of teased around for the new and upcoming five nanometer. Fuck me. Right now, AMT, as of right now, that Ryzen 7 5700, as of right now, that 5500, 